that I have to announce the heartbreaking news of the demise of one of us, a member of the Central Committee, former member of Parliament for Wacha, sorry, for Kabo Central, for Kabo Central, in the name of Honorable Tutwa Mugulobe, who passed on early this morning. He was uh, rushed to the hospital, heart hospital, where he was pronounced dead. Today, we were scheduled to have a central committee meeting. And it was during that central committee meeting when the news was broken to us. And as a result of that, <coughs> We had to cancel the meeting in honor of the memory of our dear friend, our dear member, our good lawyer, and our hardworking colleague. We, all members of the Central Committee, have come to the residence where Honorable Tutu Angulude was staying each time that he was in Osaka and we thought we should come and announce this sad news to all citizens of Zambia at his residence. We have been in touch with the family and we have been informed that the funeral gathering will be in Kabwe at his family residence and members of the central committee are all travelling to Kabwe to go and join the family in mourning our dear departed Honorable Tutua Bulube. We have also been in touch with his colleagues in his law practice who are also going to secure the law firm as we put to rest Honorable Tutua Bulube. I would like to appeal to all members of the Patriotic Front to mourn Honorable Tutu Angolube with honor and dignity. He contributed immensely to the growth of this party. He handled a number of our legal cases, sometimes pro bono, and sometimes he just volunteered. We didn't invite him. He volunteered to represent us in courts of law. This is an immense contribution from a humble soul and all of us in the party will do well to keep the memory of Tutu Angulube alive. And in this period of mourning, we are going to request all members of the Patriotic Front particularly on the day that we're going to put Tutu Angulube to rest, all members of the Patriotic Front must pause on all political activities. On the day of burying Tutu, all members of the Patriotic Front must join together, wherever they will be. Those who can, please come in your numbers to come and put to rest this colleague of ours. Those who can't manage to travel to Kabwe for the burial, wherever you will be, please pause and give respect to Tutu Angulube. Now we shall proceed to the funeral house in Kabwe. I'd like to request that uh, MCC prays for us so that we have safe travel to Kabwe. MCC, please pray for us. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you that this you already know, O oh God. And we thank you that Almighty God, you who is on the throne, is God who owns every mystery thing that happens to us as your children. 
Your word, O oh God, says all mystery things belong to you. And only that which is known belongs to us and the generations to come. Our God, it is with heavy hearts that we mourn our beloved Tutwa. We pray even this time, O oh God, for the family. Holy Spirit, our comforter, comfort the family. Comfort us as a patriotic uh, front family. Comfort everyone in this nation, O oh God, at such a time as this. We call on your name because you are everything, O oh God. Even in such a time as this, you are God to be glorified. You are God to be looked up to. We commit even our traveling to Kabwe, to and fro, to you, O oh God. Protect us, cover us under the blood of Jesus. We nullify every manner of accidents, every manner of breakdowns of the vehicles. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray that each of our angels, O oh God, them that protect us shall be our protection. Protect even the house where the funeral is being held. We praise you, we honor you, our God because we know that you hear our prayers for we pray with thanksgiving in our hearts through christ jesus our lord and savior amen amen, amen. i wonder whether you'd have any questions on such a matter no. certainly no thank you very much members of the press. Yes, we wanted to know which specialized hospital he was taken to this morning the heart hospital yeah, yeah. Okay. thank you so much Thank you for coming, members of the press. Thank you. Excellent. I remember vividly when I was petitioned after the 2016 uh, elections, and he was my lawyer, and he exhibited excellence and a lot of uh, intelligence during our time in court. And we won that case to the extent that the petitioner could not even appeal against the decision of the High Court. Tutuangulove was a very active young man, fearless young man, who believed in the rule of law. His demise is a big, big loss, not only to the PF, but also to the law fraternity. Because at a tender age, like he was, he was full of wisdom as if he was a 70, 80 year old man in terms of the law. He was one lawyer who used to do a lot of research because when you went to court, he could court the law without looking in the book correctly to defend you in court. I feel broken and may the soul of my younger brother, Tito Angulu, rest in eternal peace. You may wish to know that I lastly spoke to him on Wednesday because we were supposed to be in court. I was in court on Thursday but it was only setting of trial dates. So he told me that just go to court, get the dates as long as it's after 17th of January. Then I'll be available for trial. And we had set Sunday tomorrow as a meeting, as a day of meeting in which we're going to discuss the Kasama case and receiving message early in the morning that he has passed on has actually left me and my family heartbroken. Tutua, my young man, you ran your race, you fought the fight, finished. Now, may your soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you. Hi. Hi, how are you? How are you? How is it going? It's okay. But you want this side? Do you want so much? Come on, I'm waiting. Please. Come on. Thank you.